Well, it's something that you buy and then hope that you never need to use. But tonight, a Madison family knows exactly how important having smoke and carbon monoxide detectors are. Yeah, if they didn't hear them, it is likely Dave Delosier would be about to tell us about a very different story. And Dave joins us. He's in the News Center tonight. Hi, Dave. Yeah, hey, Eric and Susan. You know, when Luke Belsavich, his wife and four-month-old daughter, moved into a rental property, he noticed there were no CO detectors. So he went out and bought three. Had he not, the call Madison firefighters went on would have ended very, very differently. Visit any fire station and you'll learn that while firefighters do have a difficult and dangerous job, they also eat pretty well. They never shy away from making a good meal for us, keeping us well fed. But this is less a story about some pretty good pizza and more a story about why it is here. She is four and a half months old. Resting in her father's arms, you'd never know what little Elliot and her family experienced. Shortly after moving into this rental property, they went out and bought three carbon monoxide detectors. It was a call for a CO alarm that was sounding in a home. That's where Madison Firefighters Engine 3 comes in. While the family got out of the house, firefighters went in, wearing a breathing apparatus to measure the carbon monoxide. But the level that we discovered down there was in the neighborhood of 3,000 parts per million. Put into perspective, that is nearly a thousand times greater than when firefighters are required to use a breathing apparatus. It is easily a lethal level. Yeah, certainly, certainly, and probably pretty quickly too. MG&E shut off the natural gas and firefighters ventilated the home, making it safe again, but before leaving. I was concerned that the amount of CO that was detected may have compromised the CO detectors that the homeowner had in their house. So Lieutenant Myalik had paramedics bring three new CO detectors to the home. The firefighters installed them before they left. How's it going? So on this day, Luke paid a visit to the firefighters who had visited his home, and he brought pizza. We lucked out, uh, but thanks for being there for us. So that's why they had pizza at Engine 3 on this day, but they also had something else. It's okay. A photo with Elliot to remind everyone the difference a CO2 detector and firefighters can make. Well, and that's pretty much why we do what we do. Wonderful firefighters. Now the Madison firefighters were able to provide the family with the three new CO detectors because of a grant that they received. They make CO detectors available to folks who need them. And Eric and Susan, good on the Madison firefighters for their actions in this situation. Firefighters do things like this all the time, but unfortunately we don't always hear about Boy, it. Boy, that is so true. Yeah. That, and that little girl is going to have quite a story to yeah, tell someday. Yeah, great story. I love that. <laughs> Pictures to prove it. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, you Dave. Bet.